So today we will be seeing how to annotate images using CVAD. So firstly we have to open the localhost 8080. So that is the main server of the CVAD. And we need to create a new project. So let us name this project as CellSeg. Now what we need to do is we need to create some labels which we want to annotate. So let us create three labels that is A, B and C. If we have mistakenly not assigned the colors we can do it later so label A has been created now we will create label B and assign a color green and we will create another label name is as label C so we have created three labels and now what we need to do is we can submit it now we can see that the project has been created so we can name this new task as suppose dataset creation and this is under the project uh, cell seg so this is dataset 1 creation now what we need to do is we need to select a set of files which we need to annotate so for this purpose we will be selecting cell files which are saved in a folder so we can basically drag and drop the files into the project so we are dragging four files for this annotation task a basic annotation task and we can select the advanced configuration if we want to restore the uh, image quality to 100 percent now we can create uh, click submit and the task has been created we can open the task and open the job number and basically we can see that uh, the interface has been open so for the purpose of segmentation we can uh, annotation we can use the polygon shape and that will be fine for this project so what we can do is we can select it and uh, click it one by one or we can use the shift to make the boundary smoothly but we have to be careful in selecting the boundary so now what we have done is we have uh, uh, given the boundary of the cell and we can press N to lock the boundary so this boundary has been created and we can even tweak and modify the boundaries later and a label has been assigned so this is level A Similarly, for the next cell, what we can do is we can uh, lock the boundary, we can set the boundary and we can tweak the boundary for better precision later on. So we are tweaking the boundaries and now what we can do is we will uh, lock the cell. So we are setting the level to B and we are locking it so that we cannot change the cell boundary so we have locked this cell slide so now we are getting another slide and there is two cell so we have uh, suppose uh, the two cell are different levels the two cell is having different level we are assigning a cell C level C to this cell and another cell as level B so again we will have to press shift then we can uh, smoothly create the polygon and we can set the level to B and we have to press N to complete the polygon so we can create the uh, see the big bitmap there and we can change opacity and other things for better segmentation now we have only left one slide the last slide we will do the similar thing we will select the polygon shape we will click it and use shift for better and smooth fast segmentation boundary of the polygon so it has been done now the precision is set and we are locking it 
now what we can do is we can download this whole thing but firstly we need to save it and we can download as segmentation mask 1.1 so export as a data set then segmentation mask 1.1 so we have downloaded it so it will be downloaded as a zip file from the server so a zip file has been downloaded now let's see what is in the zip file so this zip file basically contains the data set it will contain a set of metadata like uh, text files and we will see jpg images of the original images that is 100% without any compression and the corresponding segmentation class that is segmentation mask so this is class A segmentation mask we can select and see another slides segmentation mask this is class B and now let's see the slides which has two labels so this is class B and class C and the corresponding image is there so this is a bit easy task for creating an annotated data set so we can do it very easily using CVAT so this is it for today and thank you